Welcome to Metro Vancouver Close-Up, your look at how Metro Vancouver members are advancing sustainability and regional goals. The regional park system includes 22 parks and 5 greenways, and Metro Vancouver champions the range of studies which link stress recovery and healing with nature experiences. North Shore youth are on the same page, and at a recent youth-driven summit on mental health and wellness, they put snowshoeing on the agenda. Talk at the Top is an annual event organized by the North Shore Youth for Mental Health. It supports young leaders to work together to improve mental health. Youth are coming from as far as Whistler uh, to Deep Cove and they are going to be learning how they can play a more active role in reducing stigma around mental health and youth in their schools and community. I got involved with the leadership team called North Shore Youth for Mental Health where we organize the event so sort of work out um, what speakers do we want what questions we want to ask and how we can engage youth to talk. This year we had a pre-event show where we had uh, some music performers and so that everybody could get um, pumped up. So as a, as a former healthcare professional I worked with youth as an ambulance paramedic. Uh, I always dealt with youth in some crisis situations and I know that uh, we have to reach out to youth to get to them to support them because they don't always come to us. On day two, youth leaders gathered on top of Grouse Mountain to strategize how to improve our region's mental health. So it's pretty cool to be actually a part of such a huge event like this. It's going pretty well so far. Like it seems really, it's really fun. Like free food too. I mean, I can say no to that. People are talking about language. People are talking about lack of resources. People are talking about the availability of access in their schools, specifically for youth or even in their work environment. You know, today's been a pretty, you know, information-packed day and a lot of different speakers and in a few minutes we're going to go snowshoeing, so it's been really exciting. When you think the city of North Vancouver, we have about 25% of our population is under 25. If we can listen to what they're saying and include them in our programming and our planning, we'll be, you know, a much more uh, responsive community and, and a happy and healthier community. People that attend this event, they'll probably leave thinking that other people are going through the same thing they are and they're not so alone in their life. So it's just really healthy for people to attend these kind of events and stuff like that. There's so many opportunities and possibilities and resources to get help. So if anyone, like any youth, any adults, at any age, it doesn't matter, and they feel like they need help and support, they should really seek it out because it's never too late and never too early to find yourself and go on the journey to self-discover. Really, I think what's at stake is the lives of our young people. And I think that the big part of what we're trying to create here is a legacy. Um, of communication and openness so that uh, maybe we can save another young person from feeling that they need to take their life. Really, that's what it is.